Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Evil Bank Manager. We're going to jump right back into it. And uh, first of all, we're going to take a little... We're going to take stock of exactly what we've going on, uh, got going on. Uh, we got a loan out. That's out for another two turns. Investment opportunity, I believe we have uh, already bought something this turn. So that is good. Um, Federal Reserve and our status in the world. We're currently in position number two, although I know for a fact that over the next couple of turns we're probably going to ping back up to, um, to, to first place. Uh, we're in six region, sorry, we're in six countries. That's thirty-two regions, which is pretty darn impressive. And um, yeah, we're looking to we're looking to expand into a big country in this episode. Um, we did expand into Bohemia. Um, and that's a country that we're definitely going to be taking more advantage of. But we're also, you know, we also need to be on the lookout for perhaps getting into Lithuania or, you know, Nevers. I was thinking about France, but France ain't doing so good these days. So, probably not going to happen. Uh, we're also at war at the moment, weirdly enough, with Austria. I say we are. Um, it's not actually us that's at war. It's Ireland. We've invested 61,000 bucks in it. So, um, we're doing pretty darn good on the whole. Let's go to the next turn. And there we go. We've, we've taken it straight away. Um, and now we are immediately at war again. Or Ireland is already at war again with Austria, which is very, very interesting indeed. Um, we'll deal with that as we go. Uh, England has got two more provinces. They've got the Scottish Highlands, and then they've also got London down here. So as soon as we've got those two, then we'll control the entirety of the British Isles, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, for some reason, it doesn't show up that... Uh, the, the 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 Irish Austrian war has reignited, uh, but it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, Bohemia is also at war with Brandenburg. I think Bohemia is going to win. Uh, we've contributed thirty three thousand, uh, so that's that's going to be a nice safe victory over there as well. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a little bit. I want to see if we can try and get uh, stuff bought. We need to make sure that we're actually buying a whole bunch of expensive stuff in Bohemia. So, sure, a farm, it's not exactly ideal, but let's go for it. We'll do it. Uh, guards, we cannot give out any more money, which is a little bit lame, um, but that's fine. I don't actually think that there is much else to do. We've got some, we could sell some weapons, I guess, right now. Um, sure, I guess we can do that. There's no real rush to do it right now, but might as well. Uh, so, Ireland, we basically just need to... Basically, just need to make up a 6,000 6, gold deficit, which we should easily should be able to do with uh, a single a single weapon sale. Uh, yeah, that hasn't adjusted yet, apparently. But it should next turn. There we go. Fine. Let me have a look. Let me see. Has it adjusted? Yeah, it has adjusted. Okay, so perfect. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna win that. Uh, we're gonna win that with an eight thousand seven hundred and eighty-five gold contribution. Everything is going pretty darn well, honestly. Eighty-two thousand ownership uh, of resources. As I predicted, we have leapfrogged back into first place. Um, IMF trades are going to be coming up next turn, so that's something to consider. Um, probably gonna try and. Maybe trim my spending. Maybe I'll buy I'll buy a cottage for twelve thousand gold, but that'll be about it that we spend this turn. Um, I don't want to give out a loan. I'll give out a loan next turn. I'll collect on that, and next turn we will actually have the income from that loan coming in. But it's n not something that we really need to worry about right now. Uh, Bohemia is going to win that battle. Ireland is going to win that battle. Can we invest? We can actually invest. We're not going to do that this turn. We're going to do that next turn. And this turn, what we are going to do, actually, is we are going to quickly create some weapons. Because if we create some weapons and then sell them on, just to either side, it doesn't particularly matter who we sell them to, uh, then we'll get a slightly better price for said weapons. Which is great because it means that when we go to the exchange, we can just click sell all and have 157,000 in the bank, which is very, very nice indeed. So let's go to the next turn. Um, I'm quite happy to buy 
there we go. I'm quite happy to buy for pretty much any price. Any price will do. I will I will take it. Um, it does sort of leave us with a little bit of a a little bit of a, a sparse turn, I would say. We need to uh, we need to sort of make up uh, some of the some of the cash that we've lost, and of course we probably will leapfrog to yeah, wow, well, third position. But that doesn't matter because I think that we are satisfying what I believe to be a win condition anyway. Um, if it's not a win condition and I'm just throwing all of this money down the drain, then I'm gonna feel and look pretty stupid. But that's okay. Um, I will. I will. I will pay that price if that is the case. Boom, 10 grand right in the bank. Now, can we buy anything? Do we want to buy anything? Could buy some wood, stone. I'd like to buy that if, if I can. Seems that I can, although it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to, uh, doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to, to, to make a, to make a loan as well. So we're either going to have to, we're going to have to decide between buying something and sending out a loan. Well, I'm quite happy to buy something this turn because, well, wood, wood is a resource, is a strategic resource, which we can turn into stuff. So let's do that. Okay, fine. There's not much more that we can really do. We'll just go to the next turn. Um, as I say, it's just going to take us a little bit of effort to make sure that we're, uh, recovering all of that cash. England is at war with Ireland. Okay. Great. I didn't even realize that that was a thing that was happening, but super, super happy that that is the case. Looks like Ireland is on course to defeat uh, England anyway, but that's fine. That's that's fine with me. Um, I'll probably end up selling weapons there anyway. Um, we can put money into Eastern Ireland. Sure, we'll accept that. No worries about that. Back to the capital. And sure. Get all of that ordered, and then we'll go and sell some weapons. Yeah, as I say, I think every conflict that we're involved in, yep, should be set up to win. I'm, I'm also conscious of the fact that, um, hold on a minute, are we, why does it say that we're not involved in this conflict? I've definitely involved myself in the conflict. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Um. Anyway, I've I've definitely uh, I definitely feel like we're we're doing fairly well on the war front. Um, Bohemia is also at war with Hungary. I, I'll join the war with Bohemia, but I know for a fact that Bohemia are going to win anyway. So, at the end of the day, it doesn't particularly matter for us uh, what happens there, as long as we as long as we're slowly but surely expanding the empire. Then that's that's pretty darn good. Um, I was going to buy. I was going to buy something. I was going to buy. Was I going to buy something? Have I even looked at something this turn? I want to buy this, whatever it is. Um, I've made weapons. I've done the the whole shebang of making weapons. Beautiful. Sell all. Get that sold. And then go here. Buy this. Perfect. Seventeen grand. That leaves us not enough money, unfortunately, to send out a loan. I don't even think there's a loan that's under 14,000. Yeah, so we're just going to have to wait until the next turn. That is the way that it works. What's going on here? Further. Yes, I I understand. I understand entirely how this system works. Um, we've got a lot of distrust. Well, let's have a conference with everyone. If we have a conference with everyone, then that should theoretically mean that everyone will trust us. It doesn't actually cost us that much either. Conference, there we go. So our, our most trusted partner is Ireland. Let's have a summit. And then let's have a negotiation, then a gathering, then a meeting. Now, purchase of a bank of bank branch property. Red Shield Bank, price 27,000 bucks. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Let's see if we can make something happen with this. I don't exactly know how this mechanic works. There's also a button in Russian, which is a little bit of a, well, a little bit confusing for someone like me who doesn't speak fluent Russian. 
Um, let's go to the war and let's sell. Yep. 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 There we go. Sold. Uh, yep. We're going to win that anyway. That's fine. Perfect. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely fine. Why am I not involved in this war? I know for a fact I am involved in this war. Do I need to sell weapons before I'm technically classified as involved in the war? Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, let me just have a quick little check. There's a whole lot of stuff to buy. There's a whole lot of stuff to buy. We know there's a whole lot of stuff to buy. I'm not going to buy anything because I want to purchase Red Shield's bank stuff. So let's go and see if we can actually do that. As I say, not entirely sure what happens. Freeze on 10 moves. Don't know what happened there. No idea. No idea what happened. Did our value just increase? Did the Red Shields Bank just decrease? Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to my ownership. That might be something to look back and see if it actually had any of an impact. If it had any impact at all. I don't know. Anyway, let's sell all. We can effectively spend 24 grand, give or take. Um cottage half oh uh oh i don't really want to do that don't want to expose myself to the potential of running out we'll buy an iron an iron ore mine um and also we can get ourselves a nice loan which is great um i want to go income right up at the very top three turns seven percent profit per move i will absolutely take that and head with glee to the next turn First things first, are there are there any opportunities? There's gold, gold for 17 grand, that's, that's pretty good. I would very, very much like that. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna do crossbows instead. I'll tell you exactly why I'll do crossbows. Um, let's sell weapons here, I guess. I'll tell you exactly why I can do crossbows, because crossbows you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and then just deal with all the sliders on one page rather than having to scroll up for bows. So there you go. That is my supreme lazy man's logic. I love it. Um, there we go. Yep, yeah, we're still second place, uh, but we do actually have, we do actually have now the largest, the largest amount of IMF shares. I think it's 50% that we need. I really don't know. There is certainly a 50% number, although the problem is, is that the IMF shares that we're buying. Is this got something to do with the Federal Reserve? I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. Speaking of Federal Reserve, can we get an upgrade to this? To this headquarters building? We can, and we did. We spent a little bit of money on making it happen. We can actually get another upgrade. Well, we're going to deal with this in the next turn, I suspect. Can't give out any... Can't give out any of that nonsense. We can now buy a cottage, which I think is what we want, because cottage is just free money, basically. It's just, you know. Oh, that's, of course, that's what uh, we, yeah. Okay, that's, that was an issue. Um, real estate. When can we get an upgrade to the real estate? And do we have any real estate properties that we want to sell off? Like any, any measly ones? Profit per turn, 16 grand. It's pretty darn good, to be honest pretty darn good um let me have a look and see what our next upgrade is to the building headquarters level eight look here's what we're gonna do we're gonna buy it because i like cottages it's not gonna be profitable but it is what it is it is what it is um yeah we're gonna sell off all of that give us a little bit more cash in the tank and now we're really going to try and focus on uh, focus. We're going to try and focus on getting the building upgraded. That cost me seven grand, even though it only said it would cost me two. So I feel a little bit cheated by that. Oh, look! Back in the day, the country always owned a printing press that prints money. But over time, the largest countries transferred the right to print their money to private companies. Whoever receives this bank will provide his bank with leading positions in the next century. Become a world leader. Become the Federal Reserve System. Okay. Ah, the Federal Reserve System has opened up over here. First step. Secure Citadel. 
Search for loopholes. What the heck does this mean? Paper gold. So we need 37,000 gold, 2,000 silver. Is it basically we, all we need to do is just all of these achievements? Capture the economy. So we pretty much just need to do all of these, these things. Okay, I guess that's kind of that's kind of doable. Still doesn't explain to me what the IMF actually does, or if it, if it has any impact on anything at all. Um, fine. Okay, let's see if there's anything that we actually want. An iron mine. Yep, I'm gonna take that iron mine just straight up actually. Um, and then over here, we've got a loan maturing in one turn. Very very nice. Um. I'm not going to muck around with this too much, actually, right now, because we're not at war, so there's no real no real reason to uh, to muck around with it too, too much. We've already bought what we came for. Um, war began in the Oman region, where you have property. Uh, join the war with Yas Island, and we're going to sell them some weapons. But first, we'll put some gold. Oh, we can only put 800 gold. Ironically enough, that will be enough to swing the, to swing the tide of war. Um... Okay, great. Let's go back to the capital. Let's make some weapons. We've got a lot of a lot of weapons to make. Crossbows, you and you. Boom, make. Map, boom. Sell weapons. See, you don't I don't have to scroll anymore. How great is that? And with that, we have pretty much secured the victory for ourselves, which is great news. Very very happy with that. Okay. Let's go and have another look at this Federal Reserve system. Can we now execute on this, or are we going to have to do it manually? We're also going to need to level up the Federal Reserve as we go. Which is kind of annoying, but hey-ho. Also, we should be on the lookout for more exotic things to buy. Saffron and books, for example. Because if we can buy that, then I'll, that'll keep our costs low. So saffron and books. Is there anything here that gives us saffron or books? There's paintings over there, but we've already got some of the manufacturer's paintings, I do believe. Furs, sugar, vanilla, no, nothing. Well, the top thing is paintings, so we'll buy that. We'll take that for now. Um, I want to get real estate upgraded. Yep, let's get that upgraded right now. Perfect. Um... Yeah, so now we just need to get more stone. And stone actually is something that we can wait for. I'm not super bothered about about faffing around about faffing around buying in stone, because it can become quite an expensive endeavor quite quickly. Uh, whereas we can just wait. Yeah, next turn. Are we back at the top? We're not back at the top. Iron Bank is actually well, it's, it's 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 accelerating really. Um okay, is there anything sort of peculiar that we can buy? Saffron, maybe? I presume that there there must be like specific regions of the world where saffron is I mean I know there are regions of the world where saffron is used you know in 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 the culture and it just it is it is used in cooking and stuff but I I don't know if there are specific regions where you can buy properties um yeah I don't know I don't know truthfully can we get an upgrade to our headquarters again Looks like we actually can, but we're once again after saffron. Uh, books as well. Books, I think we've got. I think we've got a, a a manufacturing thing for books. But that's that's no big deal. We can we can deal with that. Um, cool. Let's just go to the next turn. As I say, quite keen to make some progress, some good progress. And each and every turn, we're just going to have a a quick little look and see if there's anything that we. That we want and or need. There is not. There is a £10,000 painting place. I'll take that purely because I want to, you know, increase my amount of property in Bohemia more than anything else, really. Technically, we are at war. Ah. Austria has gone to war. Again. Is that with... We're going... With the Netherlands now? Why? Why? It just doesn't make sense. Okay, fine. Um, well, we're going to sell you weapons anyway. Can we put any gold? Put 5,000 gold. I guess I'll take that. 
Not enough to swing the tide, but um, but certainly getting there. Lorraine hasn't been in a battle in a long time. Tell you what, the Papal States have not been in the battle in a battle for a long time. The last time they went to to to, to battle was with Tuscany, and that was ages ago. And um, Bohemia is not in a battle at the moment. And what about the uh, the Himalayan country? Yeah, I mean, this bad boy hasn't been in a battle for ages. Yeah, it's, it's been quite a long time. You know what? I don't really feel the need to push the fight, to be honest. I feel that I feel that I'm quite content just to sort of leave it and let it sort of simmer. Um, let's make weapons. Excuse me? I clicked on that, and you didn't accept. You didn't accept it. There we go, and there we go. Beautiful. Okay, get that done. Uh, that's a war that we're going to win absolutely hands down. We just need to make sure that we win this war over here. My oh my, this is going to be... Yeah, wow, we just sold like 20 grand of weapons there. That is pretty That is pretty substantial. Um, speaking of 20 grand, of 20 grand of weapons, that's given us the opportunity perhaps to... Um, to get to get this we need 2000 silver now we don't have a silver mine and i'm presuming that i don't know if there's a map mode that shows us like resources that we can get i don't think so so i think that we're probably going to need to be buying in all of our silver and stuff i would imagine that's in luxury right silver 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 so how much is it going to set me back for 2000 silver 2,000 silver will set me back a cool 34,000 bucks. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that is quite something. Um, I mean, we just need to continue to grow our... To grow our investments, right? Because if we don't, then we've not got... Then we've not got the, the base to... The base to make it happen. Um, available investments. We've got a bunch of available investments. Mostly in Bohemia. So I'm, I want to try and you know, spend more in Bohemia. Um, Ireland, Ireland's rapid expansion has really meant that we've got a lot of, a lot of growth to be had in, uh, in Ireland, but, you know, we're going to work towards, we're going to work towards getting, uh, more investment in Bohemia, more investment in Ireland, and, uh, hopefully we're going to be able to do that in the next episode in conjunction with mucking around with this, uh, this whole Federal Reserve thing. And it turns out that we're going to need, we don't need anything for this. Oh, we just need influence. And fear. And we need the Federal Reserve to be level one. What do we need to get this upgraded? 100,000 gold. Is that it? So let's just do it now then. Sure. Well, let's do it now then. We can, we can basically satisfy two objectives in a one-er. Yep, further. Yep. Oh, thank you. That's an automatic scroll as well. There we go. Okay, so let's execute on that. Beautiful. Voice of truth. We can't because we don't have the appropriate appropriate components. And we can also execute on that. So that's great. So now... Um, man, that's really, really easy. I'm really glad that we don't need stupid components uh, sapphire, ruby, etc. I'm really glad that we don't need those annoying components for, like, all of the different challenges. Yeah, so we've got a lot of influence to build up, we've got a lot of fear to build up, but you know what, we've got a lot of fear to fall back on. Influence is something that I think that we're gonna have to deal with, we're gonna have to probably try and get ourselves some more employees. Um... Yeah, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes in the next episode, because that is it for now, ladies and gents. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. This has been Evil Bank Manager. I'll see you next time. Bye.